silver thorn stall. The time gate. What's a time gate? It's another kind of time machine. Like a doorway from one time zone to another you just walk through. That must be how he changes history. We'll have to stop him using it. Grab the laser and melt the gate. I don't like our chances. Couldn't we just ask him nicely not to use it? Power off, PJ. It's ready to test. Well, what's that for? I'm keying my brainwave patterns into the control system. Nobody gets to work this but me. I've set it for 10 seconds in the future. Test. Who wants the honour of being the first human through the gate? Wimps. Nice knowing you, boss. Yesterday was the last time we rip off Globe Corp. As of now, we've got the whole of history to loot. Oh. Pack this up and put it in the van. We can't let him get away. Where are we going, boss? Not where, when. What? When. When what? Never mind. I wonder if Globe Corp would be interested in knowing who stole all this stuff. What are we going to prevent? Somehow, the entire Northern Hemisphere became uninhabitable. All the capture computer could tell me was that it had something to do with a defence satellite blowing up. Well, that must be one of the police platforms. They've been in orbit for about 150 years. But how does the form blow it up? That's what we have to find out. Stay where you are. You are under arrest. Stay here. You got any chips? Chips? Why are you hungry? And a credit chips, you need them to pay for things. Oh, forget it. See, not just a pretty face. Globe Corp Security, Jarro here. I understand Globe lost some optronics yesterday. Name and ID, please. The scrag you want's called Silverthorn. I can tell you where to find him. Will you please state your name and ID? Listen, Flip Flop, you want this info or not? Please listen. You must arrest Silverthorn or he'll destroy the world. Is this a joke? No. Your world is in terrible danger. You must arrest him. Nothing happens until I see your ID. I can't. I don't have any. But you... You shouldn't have told him you had no ID. No one's get arrested. No questions asked. We'd better get out of here. Silver he won't be there. Maybe we can find a clue about where he's going. Frame, frame. Maybe when he goes through the time gate, he'll end up in front of a transport and get splattered. No. He wouldn't do that. He'd make sure that where he's going is absolutely safe. Can you get me a map of the city? I think I know where Silverthorne's taking the gate. It can't be her. She jumped out of the 28th floor window. Perhaps the girl has rubber feet. 
The point is she was logged making a call to security about the warehouse raid. And she mentioned this Silverthorn again. ID reference, mail, Silverthorn. Checking references, no mail, Silverthorn. He has no file manager. Do you want me to find him? No, I want you to stand there picking your nose. Of course I want you to find him! And the girl. Got him. Sydney Tricentenary Souvenir, 2088. It's great, Nick. See this? Plastic. They really made things to last in those days. Back in 1990, Silverthorne had a house on the north side of the harbour. It was on a peninsula. I think it was here. That's where they've gone. It'd be easy to find him. Why? There's nothing there now. I'm cold. I'm cold. Anybody bring anything to eat? Bag it, Ralph. Why well, go set the lousy thing up in this place for anyway? In the 20th century, this was one of the wealthiest suburbs in Sydney. I used to own a mansion on this spot. You're standing on the veranda. There's a break in the surveillance pattern coming up. You'll have 20 seconds to power up and go through the gate before the next satellite is overhead. Right. has been a bit slow lately. I need the cash. Big man like you needs a big house. What was that? What? I heard a noise. I didn't hear a thing. I was totally mesmerised by you. <laughs> Hello, Eddie. Say goodbye to your friend. But we haven't even... You heard me. Uh, Sharon, uh, I've, I've got a bit of uh, business to do. Would you mind going home? I'll, I'll make it up to you. Who's he? I own this place, Sharon. You said it was yours. I never liked short men anyway. You gave me a bit of a shock, boss. What are you doing back? We're going into business, Eddie. Yeah, what sort of business? The export business. We're going to export water from here to the year 2500. Well, why don't you just turn on a tap? In my time, Eddie, water's worth more than gold. It doesn't just come out of taps. Wow. So you will make a fortune, then. What's this? I uh, didn't think you were coming back, boss. What happened to the money I left, Edward? Well, well, I, I tried playing the horses, but I didn't do so well. You never were very smart, were you, Edward? Well, couldn't you just get another newspaper from the future and make more money out of the horses? That wasn't part of the plan, but now I suppose I'll have to. I suppose you sold the limo, too. No, 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 that's at the Kellys. I can get it back easy. Make sure you do. I'll be back tomorrow, Edward. Don't disappoint me again.
Silverthorn. I wanted to be prepared if he ever came back. Silverthorn is gone forever. So I don't want to hear another word about him. Now get this cleaned up. You don't mind looking after Petey tonight, do you? This was the only night James could get tickets. Sweetheart, I know you miss Alana. It's not just Alana. Well, what then? I don't know. Listen. You've had an exciting time, an extraordinary time. It's only natural that you feel life's a little flat right now. But you can't keep on moping around. Something's wrong. What? I don't know. If I knew, I'd do something about it. Jenny, you're being very silly, and I'm getting rather tired of it. Mum, Jenny, come quick. Petey, if this is another one of your games... It's not. Hurry! Silverthorne's stolen it. He's taken the limo. Petey, would you shut up about Silverthorn? He's in the future, and there's no way he can get back. But it's got all my toys in it, Mum. Call the police. What am I going to tell them? It didn't even belong to us. To tell you the truth, I'm glad it's gone. Now we can get back to living a normal life. Don't worry. We'll get you another one. You won't be too late, love. You sure you'll be OK? Yes, Mum. Look, uh, this is the Russian ballet, you know. If we don't <sighs> leave now, well... Uh... If anything happens, the phone number of the theatre's on the bench. Nothing's going to happen. We're leaving now, Petey. Bye, Mum. Bye, Petey. Nothing happens anymore. Petey, do you want to watch a video? No, I'm going to bed. It's only seven o'clock. I've had a hard day at school. I'm tired. Good night. I got a back. <laughs> Not even a scratch. Mm. Get rid of it. Why? It's too conspicuous. When we finish tonight, trash it and get something less obvious. What is this place? My home, 500 years from now. This is where we're going to set up business. Look, 
PJ, can you unlock this without setting off the alarm? I was not designed as a tool for illegal entry. Remember the scrambler, PJ. one of these. <laughs> the one I was a kid. When this operation's running, Eddie, you'll be able to have as many as you like. Just get this building. Buy it if you have to. And make sure it's empty by tomorrow night. The time gate will open down there. I need a large tank, about 10,000 litres at least, with a big outlet pipe. The transfer will take place as quickly as possible. This will cost mega bucks. I don't care how much it costs. Just make sure it's ready. And Edward, stay away from the horses. Take me back. Time gate will open again in 20 minutes. I went to Silverthorns. He was there. What? I followed him and Eddie to this warehouse. It was full of toys. See? Evidence. We're home! Get upstairs, quick! But what about Silverthorn? Hi, how was Swan Lake? Oh, nice. Nice? It was magnificent. How was your evening? It was oh, pretty, pretty boring. Oh, Petey couldn't sleep, so I'm mucking around. It's way past your bedtime, young man. But I'll just take him up. I'll just get my blanket. Whoa! Where did this come from? Well? I, um, bought it for Petey as a present. No, she didn't. I went to Silverthorne's house tonight to get my toys, and I saw him, but I got caught in the limo. Then Silverthorne and Eddie went to this warehouse and broke in. It was full of toys. That's where I got it. You stole it? No one will notice. There was hundreds of them. Petey, I'm appalled. Tomorrow you're going to take it back to where you got it from. But the toy man won't be there, Mum. Silverthorne's going to buy the building and kick him out. You've been caught stealing, young man. Lying about Silverthorne is only going to make it worse. I'm not lying! You were supposed to be looking after him. He snuck out. You know what he's like. I did see be him! Be quiet. Silverthorne is not here. He's in the future. And if either of you mention his name again, there's going to be big trouble. Now go to bed. But... I don't want to hear another word about it. 
When Silver... When he takes over the world, you'll wish you'd listen to me. Petey! I was having such a nice night. What happened? What if Silverthorne hasn't gone back to 1990? Could be anywhere. Uh, Any when. He knows the mansion's a safe place to open the gate. I'm sure he'll bring it here. Well, according to the map, his house should be somewhere around here. Well, the grounds are pretty big. Let's try a bit further. I told you. Where's Silverthorne? He must have gone through the gate. If we could shut it down, he'd be stranded in the past. And he couldn't do anything. How about we yank the power cables? 